What's good, guys? We're back at it again with another video. Uh, today, we're going to hit on on-ball defense tips and tricks. You know what I mean? Uh, but I want to give you guys a little precursor. So the biggest thing I would say that I used when I'm playing on-ball defense is active hands. So you're going to see in the video and in the clips, I made sure that I'm swiping at the ball. Not to get the steal, but to make the offensive player uncomfortable. Because a lot of the times... All you need to do is get them uncomfortable and get them doing movements that they're not used to. So all of a sudden they take bad shots and things like that. Also, in a lot of these clips, I'm 6'9", 250, and I'm guarding players that are what? 6'5", 6'4", 6'6", smaller players. So I just wanted to give you guys a feel for how I, I personally would guard players that were crooked to me and things that I would do just to shade them. Let, let's say I, like in one clip, I shaded them to the to the baseline so I'd have an angle to get the block because I know with my size, even though he's faster than me, if I get the angle on him, he's not gonna be able to get that shot over me. So let's go. If you guys watched last week's tips and tricks video or even my TikTok where I preview my vids, you've seen this clip, but I wanna let you watch it one last time before I go into what exactly I did. Spin, okay. So the second he catches the ball, my hand is tracking it wherever it goes. He puts it up. I jump. I probably shouldn't have did that. But at the same time, I was quick enough and I use my body so that when he tries to hit me, he's going nowhere and he has to take a bad shot because that is a bad shot and we're going the other way. This next play, this is the best player on their team. He's actually probably 6'6". Six, six. I'm 6'9", 250. So watch what I do. Hand on his hip. I stopped it right here just to let you guys know that if he was in the NBA, he probably would have swiped through and gotten the foul. But at the levels you're at, they probably don't know about that yet. So when he moves, watch my right foot. I beat him there. And also, I stopped it here because I remember that left hand I used to tell you guys about, your offhand. Watch how I use that ever so slightly to push him down and I get this block. Again, practice it a lot. The refs won't see it. Like I was saying, putting your hand over the ball is huge. So this player is actually 15 to 17 point per game score off the block. But what I like to do with players like this is agitate them. So look, I'm swiping at the ball. I'm doing anything I can just to get them uncomfortable to take shots like this, which are bad shots. I'm right there. We're going the other way. This is a quicker clip. Again, he's like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, but I want you guys to really see what I did here. And we're going to run it back. Because he's smaller, I want you to watch my right hand. I'm using it to angle him towards the baseline so that by the time he gets there, he has no angle. The only thing that can happen is I'm going to get this block because there's no way you can get the ball on the backboard without me getting to it. And we're going the other way. I added these clips in here just to let you guys know that at high school, college, players are going to score on you. Look, I feel like I played good defense here, but look. He angled himself. He got the shot off. Put this clip in here, almost in the same kind of realm. In college, they give you a scouting point, so I knew he's going to his right hand. So I move. I beat him there. He caught me a little on the pump fake. But what did I say in the other videos? Keep trying. Keep going. I get the block, but watch what happens. Tip. They end up getting the ball on the other side of the rim is two points. Appreciate you guys watching the vid. Just wanted to give you guys some insight into things I did personally to stop players that were crooker than me, smaller than me, faster, you know, whatever. Again, one thing, the biggest thing that I'd have to say is keeping active hands and, again, making players uncomfortable. A lot of the times you don't have to get the steal. You don't have to get the block. You don't have to do anything too crazy. All you want to do is make the offensive player uncomfortable so that they make a decision that they're not used to making or put them in the position that they have to make a decision that they're not used to making. Like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave comments on videos you want to see. I got videos coming on, what are people saying? Reclassing, basketball confidence, everything like that. Tap in on Wednesday for the next video.